Hi everybody, it is June 16, 2024. I just received this from a subscriber. It's important. I want to put it out there. I hope that you circulate it. We have a lot of dog lovers uh, in the cyber world, uh, cat lovers in the cyber world, uh, and we don't want them to give them next guard, chewables, safe and effective. This is a post from Facebook. I'm going to read a few excerpts from an article on NextGuard. I will link below to the article, and I really do hope that you circulate it. So this is the post. My dog can't walk and is fighting for his life after taking NextGuard, and the company has tried everything to get me to sign a release. They referred me to a veterinarian neurologist in Kansas City, and they led my veterinarian and myself to believe that they were paying for it. Um, after my dog was in the emergency room for about an hour, they come to tell me that NextGuard does not pay for treatment and I will have to pay out of pocket $2,500. The veterinarian they referred me to is not qualified to do the tissue analysis and they tried to say it was from a tick bite. He has had no ticks and without the proper testing, they were taking a shot in the dark. If they're going to take a shot in the dark, why not take a shot at next guard when he gave his dog the next guard the next day the dog couldn't get up my veterinarian has been working diligently to keep my dog alive and giving him physical therapy to try to get him to move his limbs next guard and the veterinarian in kansas city should be investigated they are working together to get you to sign a release of liability i will fight them even if I have to sell something to get a lawyer, do not give your dogs or cats next guard. A dangerous gamble. So again, just reading a few um, bits from this article, next guard, chewable, safe and effective. Next guard for dogs, a dangerous gamble. I will provide the link in the description box. Next Guard for Dogs is marketed as a monthly flea and tick prevention that comes in the form of a convenient chewable treat. One would assume that a product put on the market with the intent to protect dogs would never harm them. I don't think any of us assume that anymore. Some of us have learned the hard way. FDA, what they approve as safe and they put it on the market, a whole lot of those products are not safe. Okay. Most dog owners only become aware of NexGuard's dark side after it's already too late for their dogs. So the active ingredient in NexGuard is called a phylloxlaner, not sure if I've pronounced that correctly, a pesticide from a class of chemicals called isoxolines. Isoxolines. Other FDA approved products in this group of isoxolines, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, uh, target ticks and fleas in pets. The products are Brevecto and Brevecto Plus, tablets and topical solutions for cats and dogs, Cordelio, tablets for cats and dogs, Symperica and Symperica Trio, tablets for dogs, and Revolution Plus, topical solutions for cats. So it's a pesticide that targets the central nervous system um, and what it's claimed in the next guard's package insert is that it's selective toxicity. The osoxolines uh, stating that they only to um, they're only toxic to insects and acarines, I think that's the ticks, not mammals. Almost a decade of reported adverse effects by dog owners and veterinary professionals show a different truth. Isoxolines are neurotoxic to more than just insects. They also affect mammals. There is a reason why so many dogs experience seizures, ataxia, tremors after taking NexGuard. The pesticide compromises the dog's central nervous system. Once this happens, there is often no way back. It's a gamble for dog owners who opt to give their dog this product. 
and I I can't imagine it doesn't affect cats as well, but this is a dog site, so one dog owner I spoke to compared it to playing Russian roulette. Even if you've given your dog next guard and nothing has happened, you might want to consider giving your dog next guard again because it could happen. So very important information. Please circulate it. Lots of dog lovers out there who have their dogs and let's try to save them from what a whole lot of people are experiencing. The link again is below in the description box. Be safe, everybody. Be safe. A lot of dangers out there. Ciao.